Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh. Here we are on a cold Saturday morning in Wilmington, North Carolina. We had a successful day of sourcing. We got uh, everything in the car for $25, if you believe it or not, $25. The people actually told us we could get it for 20. We gave them an extra five just because we felt bad. We got so much stuff for $20. We're gonna go through it, look through it, see what we found, see what kind of deals we got. Uh, I, I don't even know what all we have in this car right now. We got so much stuff. Okay, you can see we got a full Jeep load here. Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. We love selling vintage Christmas stuff. Uh, easy to ship, hot seller. Tons of people love vintage Christmas. This is something I have no idea what it is. It's uh, mid-century obviously, but I don't really un un know what this is. Vintage Stroh's beer shirt. It's actually in really good condition. See the big logo there? That should be pretty easy to sell. <laughs> this is a come up cool white tail deer hanging wall clock. It's battery operated. It's gonna need to be cleaned up some. Someone will want this for sure. Next week, so we have some uh, vintage blue. Those like metal mid-century lamps. People love mid-century lamps. Always pretty easy to sell. Stacks and stacks of Christmas ornaments, but that's a uh, score. These will be easy to sell. Very easy to sell. I'm trying to be careful here, not break any of these ornaments. So what do we get in here? This is a Tau Silversmiths Symphony Collection. It's like a vanity brush mirror comb set. Some tarnish, but that's to be expected. Mirror here, comb. They look to be pretty much unused. Vintage beer sign, five cents a glass. Wood, someone definitely want that. Vintage Tupperware, I see. People love vintage Tupperware. More Tupperware. So much vintage Christmas. Shiny bright. Pyramid, so much vintage Christmas. A large brass key. Someone will buy that. Brass always sells pretty easy. We have some seahorse chalkware, wall hanging chalkware, mid-century. Should be pretty easy to sell, once again. Let's see what we have in this box. We have a Grateful Dead t-shirt your face 1988 single stitch size extra large t-shirt wow that will sell very easily that is the kind of thing that I'm tempted to keep but not gonna do it we have a American girl doll it looks like also easy to sell People love American girls. Uh, what in the? A very, very rusty and terrible shape black powder pistol. <laughs> the things you find. This is a Jukar Spain 45 caliber black powder only single shot pistol that is very rusty. Very rusty. Cool though. You could use it as some sort of decor or you know whatever bluebird toy company disney castle place it looks like yeah more chalkware black swan white swan four swan wall hanging chalkware mid-century i'm sure these are always big sellers okay we have some more shirts we have a Coors Light pocketed button-up polo, a couple of vintage hats, and a snap-on number one, a Flintstones hat, Bedrock U, not 
in great shape but we can clean those up oh whoa i was like what is this when i was picking this up but we have a vintage general electric clock radio in pretty good shape for the most part what oh that's a snooze button that's a snooze button let's hope this thing works this would be a very nice item to sell if it works if not it'll sell for parts but that is very cool armor hot dogs vintage mug here okay let's see what we got back here uh, i have no idea what this is maybe a necklace mm. I don't have to ask my wife what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. Her and the baby are taking a nap right now. We have a Made in Japan porcelain dragon. No chips, it looks like. No cracks. Yeah, an assortment of vintage earrings. So we have a set of copper, copper craft guilds candle holders. These are nice. Some vintage cooking utensils. Vintage spatula. It's a vintage grater. The Amor China. Made in Japan, hand painted. Oh, that's pretty cool. Swan. Trinket dish. This could be a candle votive too, possibly. Yeah, it appears to be it. We got some vintage sweatshirts over here, I think. Maybe not. This actually is new, maybe. New sweatshirts. Some ties. Bronzini ties. So much vintage Christmas, though. So much vintage Christmas. I mean, you can't even see it all. There's so much in there. Uh, oh, yeah, we got these. These are just some, maybe some driftwood figures, sculptures. Somebody buy them. If we can't sell them on eBay, we'll sell them at our uh, booth we have at Recollections in town. As you can see, that is a pretty successful haul for $25. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. We ended up giving them, like I said, $25 just based on we felt bad. It was so much stuff. Like, the Grateful Dead t-shirts worth more than $25. The rest, profit. Find that money. Okay, I got 14 things to get packed and shipped today. Uh, gonna be a full Jeep load headed to the post office here in a few. You can see I got my shipping station here behind me with my boxes, my tape. I went ahead and pulled all the items that have to go out today. There's 14 total. Uh, gotta make my boxes, gotta get my weights, gotta get my labels printed, gotta get them loaded up, gotta get them to the post office before five. So let's get after it. We got some uh, ornaments, some vintage coffee mugs, uh, yarn, games, looks like some pottery clothes some disney jogging pants a jacket woolridge jacket uh 1960s uh dress i got my assistant here silas helping me pack and ship keeping an eye on things making sure i'm uh packing everything well
That was a lot of work, but we got all the uh, items packaged, ready to ship. Now we just gotta load up, take them to the post office. My wife is going to kill me. I just broke a $150 glass Christmas tree. Ugh, not great, but let's get these uh, packages to the post office. I got them all packed up, loaded up. Uh, let's get them out. If I end up being one and done on videos, this is the reason why. This was a $150 vintage ceramic Christmas tree that I didn't know was in this bag of packing supplies and I literally threw and smashed. <laughs> My wife is not going to be happy. R.I.P. In peace, me. Okay, let's do a little recap on where we stand with this haul. Uh, we're still working through everything, trying to get everything listed and posted to our store, but we've got some of the items listed. We've already sold three of them. We sold the lot of vintage earrings for $20. Some of the vintage jewel bright diorama Christmas ornaments, three of them for $15. And we sold the Grateful Dead Steal Your Face 1988 vintage t-shirt for $99.99 for a total of $134.99. We went over 5X on our money already, and we've barely sold anything from the entire haul. I don't want to give the illusion this is the kind of thing that happens every week because it just simply doesn't. The man hooked us up. He gave us a screaming good deal on all the stuff, and we appreciate it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. This is our first ever YouTube video, so we're still trying to work through it, figure some things out, but we appreciate you watching and supporting us. Uh, we've been buying and selling vintage items for probably close to four years now. We finally decided to start recording it because we find it interesting and hopefully you do too. Anyway, we appreciate your support. Our store name is CoastalResaleTherapy.com is how you can get to it. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe because that helps us out greatly with the YouTube algorithm. We're trying to get this channel started and off the ground and that would help us tremendously. We appreciate the support and we'll see you next time.